Hey Molt fans, and today we're going to have another how-to episode because recently whenever ARC patches or updates, it's been resetting all of the server settings, which can be really annoying to adjust again and again and again when you have your settings adjusted just right or have them just so and you don't want to have to redo it every single time. So I'm going to show you guys how to easily save those settings and then if they get reset, you can easily reapply them. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go into ARC, obviously, and then have all your settings set to what you want them. So most of you will probably already have that. <laughs> so yeah, once you have your settings as you want them, then do this. So you go to uh, your file explorer, go to this PC, my PC, depending on what version of Windows you have, go to your local disk or where your uh, Steam library is. For most of you guys, and the default is your local disk, program files, 86, scroll down to Steam, and then you're going to want to go to Steam apps, and then common, and then your games will be seen here. Mine are in a slightly different spot. I have a hard drive specifically for my games, so here are where my games are, but so if you follow the path I just showed you, then you will have all your games there. Then you click on Arc, Shooter Game, Saved, and then Config, Windows No Editor. And I'm going to write, let's see, I can, uh, I'm going to write this path down below in the description or in the comments so that you guys can easily access it again. But this is where your game any and game user settings any are saved. So what you're going to want to do is create a new, uh, it can be Microsoft Word or a text document. I prefer the text because that's generally what my game any file opens in. So let's, so name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine backup. So this is going to be where I'm going to copy and paste all of my settings so that they're going to save for, so that I can easily reapply them for the future. So if you have all your settings as you already want them, go into your game any. Just click in there, control A, control C, as you can see, I have lots of things in there. Then go to your backup text and then paste it. And then uh, one thing you're going to want to do, you can either have a backup specifically for your game any, so like name it backup game any, copy and paste. I like to just have mine in the one, so I'm going to say paste in game, wow, I can't type any, just for a reminder for me. And then can I build it in WordPad? Nah, but that's okay. So then the bottom, I'm going to, can I get it to do half? Oh, well, I can never figure out the window shortcuts. So I'm going to make another note right here, paste in game user settings, any. So now scroll down a little bit. We can close out of that game any, and then go to our game user settings and same thing, control A, control C, copy all of it go to back to your backup, and then underneath the game user settings, any part that you just put in, paste. That's literally all you have to do. So save it, and you can exit out, and now you have your backup file. So whenever our patches or updates and all your settings get reset, all you have to do is come back to the same spot, open your backup, copy from the top, so I'm gonna have to scroll a little bit for this, if you have it in all in the same file. So with the copy all the stuff for the game any. So as you can see, this is where it stops. So copy that. And then you can just go into your game any file, control, control all and then paste. That's all you have to do. Then then you clearly you save. And then I have so yeah, I'm not going to save because I don't want to make sure I don't want to change anything accidentally. But that's that's all you do. And then you repeat the same process for your game user settings section. So scroll down, get all of that stuff and copy, go to game user settings and control all, delete it all and then paste. And that's really all there is to it. Now, like obviously save before you get out, but then that's that's all you have to do, and then all your settings when you next log or er, yeah log into Arc should be the same. Uh, this for sure works for single player. I'm pretty sure that it should also work for the server settings of a of a like a dedicated server. You just have to go into the server uh, config settings and uh, do the same thing in that folder. But that's all you have to do to 
to uh, save your settings for ARC for later. So I hope this was helpful for all you guys out there because it's it's really simple to save all your settings for later and then easily re-put them back in. Like as it's only taken us like I don't know how long I've been recording, but it's only taken us like maybe five minutes. And then you don't have to spend forever going through all of those and fixing all of your settings again and again whenever ARC seems to patch nowadays. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more. And I hope this was helpful to you guys and I'll see you in another video. Bye.